Welcome to Indus News. Let's take you live to Tashkent, Uzbekistan, where Prime Minister Imran Khan, along with his counterpart, are signing the Memorandum of Understanding. <laughs> Anıq, anıq, cüdə kətta işanç bilən, bir-birimizga xürmət bilən, ləkin cüdə kətta rəcələr tüzü aldıq. Mən mənə şu üçün qollab qovatlə gənli üçün ya mənə şu bizdə, mənə şu münasəbətlərimizdə yəngi dərəcəgə qotar gərliqlər üçün və şunu qollab qovatlə gənli by taking this opportunity, I would like to extend my special and big thanks to our distinguished guest, His Excellency Prime Minister Mr. Imran Khan, because today, throughout our bilateral talks and extended meeting between the delegations, we have been discussing a number of large-scale projects, as well as we have made very clear understanding of various approaches for the implementation. So once again, distinguished Mr. Prime Minister, I would like to thank you for your special uh, attention and for your personal engagement in these very activities. Thank you very much. Ertaga Toshkentda bo'lib o'tadigan Markaziy va Janubiy Osiyo o'zaro bog'liqligiga bag'ishlangan xalqaro konferensiya ichida bevosita o'zlari mana shu bosh bo'lib, mana shuncha delegatsiya bilan kelib ishtirok etganlari uchun mana shu forumning ahamiyati va nufuzini keskin Definitely, your personal participation, as well as the fact that you brought here a big delegation from Pakistan, will bring the new level of the quality to the conference that we're planning for tomorrow that will happen in Tashkent on the topic of the connectivity between the Central and Southern Asian countries. Biz birgalikda hozir muloqotlarimizda mana shu Naya Pakiston milliy dastur va yangi O'zbekiston barpo etishga qaratilgan strategik strategiyamiz va ko'p-ko'p masalalarimiz bo'yicha qilayotgan ishlarimiz uyg'un va hammohang ekanini yana bir marta tasdiqladik. programs that are currently undertaken both in Pakistan and Uzbekistan for instance, Naya Pakistan National Program and the National Program of Building New Uzbekistan to a great extent are in harmony and they share the same values, the same goals and the same objectives. Uzbekistan and Pakistan are in the same degree of success today. We will be able to do a lot of work in our communities and our communities and davlatlarimiz o'rtasidagi bugun mana shu strategik sheriklik to'g'risidagi qo'shma deklaratsiyaga imzo chekdik. Bu juda muhim qadam. Mana shu kelajakka ko'p-ko'p harakatlarimiz, ishlarimiz, rejalarimiz, munosabatlarimizda mana shu aloqalarimiz tarixida yangi davr boshlanishga biz juda katta qadam qo'ydik. Mana shu strategik sheriklik to'g'risidagi qo'shma deklaratsiyaga imzo chekkanimiz bu hech qachon bizda tariximizda, munosabatlarimizda bo'lmagan. Shuning uchun biz bunga o'zdan o'zi kemadi. Juda katta tayyorgarlik qildik, juda ko'p uchrashdik, juda ko'p-ko'p mana shu bizni O'zbekistondan va Pokistondan rahbarlar o'z-o'zlari bilan uchrashib, bugun mana shu kunga kelganimiz bu juda katta bizning yutug'imiz. Considering the high level of cooperation between Uzbekistan and Pakistan, today we were able to sign the joint declaration on strategic partnership. This is extremely important step and it opens the new avenue in the history of cooperation between our countries. It has to be mentioned that the heads of the state have made a great preparatory work and they have conducted a number of the meetings towards signing this very strategic document. I believe that this will be the new document that will open the new history both in Pakistan and in our country. Biz albatta bugun juda katta tahlil qildik. Mana shu o'zaro savdomiz 4-5 baravarga o'sdi. Lekin biz bugun tahlil qilganimizda bu bizni imkoniyatimiz bilan mana shu ikkita davlatning katta salohiyatiga hech to'g'ri kelmaganini biz yana bir marta bildirib, mana shu komissiyaga alohida-alohida topshiriq berdik. Bitta raqamda aytmoqchiman. Kechagi mana shu 
бизнес форумда озыда 500 миллионнан көп лайхаларга келишилгани бу бизди канча канча озара мана шо хамкарлигимизда имкониат барлигини далалат берад бу халиб башланиши деб ойлайман ва мана шо башланишда көп көп сахалар бойча келишу алдик бу сахалар бойча имкониятимиз чексизлигини биз яна баш вазир жаноблари билан ўзимиз қўлимизга қалам олиб мана силарда ҳам куттириб қўйдик лекин бир нарсани билинглар жуда самарали учрашувлар бўлди ва натижаси албатта бўлади ман бунга ишонаман I have uh, to mention that uh, for the recent years we were able to increase uh, the turnover of goods uh, in trade between uh, Pakistan and Uzbekistan to four or five folds. But at the same time this figure is far uh, below the possible capacity of possible uh, exchange of products between our countries. And therefore we were able uh, to reach uh, the new uh, discussions in order to increase uh, the trade order between our countries for uh, another four or five folds in the upcoming years. The fact that uh, in the course of the business forum that had happened in Tashkent today, uh, they were able to sign uh, the uh, contracts and agreements with a total value of $500 million. This again demonstrates that there is an endless opportunity for our effective cooperation. Well, I would like to bring the apology that we were, uh, had to make you waiting for us for such long, but this is not uh, just uh, because we were talking. It's just because we were talking, we have, we're having very productive talks, very productive discussions, and it, I'm confident very soon we'll be able to see the results. Hurmatli do'stlar, muzokaralar davomida biz mintaqaviy xavfsizlikni ta'minlash, ayniqsa Afg'onistonda tinchlik jarayonlarini hissa qo'shish bo'yicha batafsil, batafsil juda ishonarli muloqotlarimiz va hamkorligimizni qanday qilish bo'yicha fikr almashdik. Umumi maqsadimiz bitta. Mana shu umumi maqsadimiz mana shu biz Afg'oniston zaminida tezroq tinchlik va barqarorlik o'rnatishni istaymiz va bu bo'yicha ko'p masalalarni kelishib oldik va hammalaring bilasizlar mana shu qo'limizda kelgan hamma ko'makni ko'rsatish, lekin hammalaring xabarlaring bor. Biz 1 yil, 2 yildan buyon juda katta harakatlar qilib O'zbekistonda tashabbusi bilan mana shu biz butun ko'p-ko'p qo'shinlarimiz va hamkor davlatlar bilan kelishib, mana shu Termiz, Mazori Sharif, Qabul, Peshavar temir yo'li qurish masalasi bo'yicha juda atroflicha kelishib oldik. Vaziyat nihoyatda og'ir, lekin hayot davom etyapti. Mana shu hayot davom etish inobatga olib, mana bugun hammalaring guvoh bo'ldilaring. Men Afg'oniston prezidenti bilan ham juda ko'p 3 soatdan ko'p muloqot bo'ldik. Mana janob bosh vazir Imron Xon bilan ham kelishdik, lekin mana shu bizni g'oyamizni, bizni tashabbusimizni amalga oshirish bo'yicha mana shu Termiz, Mazori Sharif, Qobul, Peshavar temir yo'lini qurish boshlash bo'yicha juda katta mana shu kelishuvlarga erishdik. Distinguished friends, uh, today in the course of our talks and discussions, of course, one of the major issues uh, that we have discussed was ensuring the regional security and uh, how we can ensure the peace-building process in Afghanistan, because we share the same goal, the same objective establish peace and stability in Afghanistan as soon as possible. And in this regard, of course, we are ready to render any necessary assistance. At the same time, we have discussed a number of other projects, such as the building of the Termes Mazari Sharif Kabul Peshawar Railway. And uh, we need to admit that Regardless, whatever is happening right now in Afghanistan, in spite of this very difficult and challenging situation, the life is going on. People are still living. Therefore, we need to continue implementation of this very project. I have met the President of Afghanistan today, and we have had uh, like three-hour discussion with him. We have discussed all these initiatives, and uh, all parties are committed for the implementation of this very project. Nufuzli global hamda mintaqaviy tuzilmala doirasida bir-birimizni qo'llab quvvatlashni davom ettirishga alohida e'tibor berdik. At the same time, we attached high level of importance to mutual support and assistance in the participation in various global institutions and organizations. Hurmatli jurnalistlar, biz Pokiston bilan madaniy-gumanitar sohada jumladan mushtarak ma'naviy merosimiz 
birgalikda o'rganish, ta'lim va sog'liq saqlash yo'nalishlarida hamkorlikni chuqurlashtirishga jiddiy e'tibor qaratmoqdamiz va juda ko'p masalalarni mana Zahiriddin Muhammad Bobur va Boburiylar, Muhammad Iqbol, Mirzo G'olib singari ulug' mutafakkir va shoirlarning o'lmas merosi, ma'rifiy qarashlarini xalqlarimizning bog'lab turadigan mustahkam ma'naviy ko'prigligi to'g'risida ko'p muloqot o'tkazdik va ko'p masalalar bo'yicha kelishib oldik. Yana bitta narsani men sizlarga mamnuniyat bilan aytmoqchimanki, biz xalqlarimizni bog'lab turuvchi bu tarixiy haqiqatni hisobga olib, ajdodimiz, mashhur davlat arbobi va buyuk shoir Zahiriddin Muhammad Bobur hayoti va ijodi to'g'risida birgalikda badiiy filmni yaratish haqida ham kelishib oldik. Distinguished journalists, uh, we attach very high level of importance for building a humanitarian and cultural relationship between our countries, to learn and to study our joint uh, heritage, as well as to build uh, closer communications in the area of health, as well as education. And uh, with great pleasure, I would like to mention that we uh, have employ a very high interest to learn the heritage of Babur and the Babaris, and uh, Muhammad Iqbal and many others, because musical or Muhammad Iqbal, these are the poets and the uh, statesmen that has left uh, a great heritage which is still connecting our people and acting as a good bridge. By taking this uh, moment, I would like to announce with a great pleasure that in the course of our discussions we were able to reach the agreement that from the standpoint of uh, establishing historic truth, we will jointly together will produce a big film that will cover the life and the poetry of the great statesman and the poet Zahreddin Muhammad Babur. Albatta O'zbekistonda Pokiston tarixi, madaniyati va sanatiga xususan urdu tiliga o'rganish qiziqib qiziqishni va bu qiziqish tobora oshib bormoqda. O'z navbatda Pokistonda ham o'zbek tili va adabiyoti mamlakatimiz tarixini o'rganish va tadqiq qilish we need to also to admit that currently in Uzbekistan there is a great interest uh, among the population to learn more about uh, Pakistan culture, Pakistan arts, specifically to learn Urdu as a foreign language. In its turn, in Pakistan, Uz Uzbek language, Uzbek literature is becoming also popular. So there are a number of different studies and uh, research work is being carried out by Pakistani counterparts. Biz sayohatlik sohasida jumladan alohida ziyorat turizmini rivojlantirish bo'yicha hamkorlikni kengaytirish to'g'risida ham fikrlar almashdik va qo'shma dastur ishlab chiqishga kelishib oldik. In the course of our bilateral discussions, we were able to reach the agreement to further study the possibilities for enhancing and developing the religious or the pilgrimage tourism between our countries, and so we agreed that we'll develop the joint action plan in this regard. Hech shubhasiz, qat'iy mana shu sayi harakatlarimiz bilan o'z oldimizga qo'ygan yangi marralar va rejalarga yaqin istiqbolda albatta erishamiz. Buning uchun bizda barcha kuch va imkoniyatlar eng muhimi astoydil intilish va pok niyatimiz mavjudligi to'g'risida, juda katta rejalarimiz to'g'risida va qanday qilib ish qilishimiz to'g'risida biz mana shu tashrifdan keyin katta yo'l xaritasi qilib bu yo'l xaritasini ikomiz juda katta nazorat qilishga ham kelishib oldik. It's doubtless that uh, through or with the help of our efforts definitely we will be able to attain the goals and objectives that we are setting for ourselves. In this regard I should say that uh, both countries employ good opportunities, we have the necessary resources and what is the most important that we have big endeavors and we have big commitments. And in this regard, I should say that we were uh, agreed that we will develop the plans of actions and we'll develop the joint roadmap in order to specify the activities we will implement in the near future. In this was no button, man yet bilan brotherum Pakistan Bosh Vazir Muhtaram Imran Khan Janapolilarga bermoqchiman. And now with great pleasure I would like to give the floor uh, to uh, my uh, brother, uh, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, distinguished Mr. Imran Khan. Please. <clears throat> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, President um, Shokat, on behalf of my delegation and myself, I want to especially thank you. Your generous hospitality, the way you have welcomed our delegation, 
uh, we have, uh, we're all overwhelmed by your hospitality. So I, first of all, I want to thank you for that. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Janab President, Janab Shavkat Mirziyayev, Avalan bar birinci nabatta barche delegatimiz namudan, oz namumdan sizni bunday yüksek ixtiram ve mehman dostlik ingiz üçün katta sizge minnatlar çirli bildirmakçımız. Biz bundan cüneham katlıq tasırlandık. This is my first visit to Uzbekistan and inshallah not my last one. Uh, I, can, <clears throat> I can tell you that my delegation and I are very excited about, first of all, coming to Tashkent because for that famous, uh, uh, in 1965, the, uh, the meeting that took place between the Pakistan uh, president and the Indian prime minister. And so we all remember, I mean, I'm old enough to remember Tashkent. Uh, so firstly, coming to Tashkent, but secondly, we are all excited about going to Bukhara and uh, Samarkand, because as children we have uh, read, learned about it, its history. So um, uh, this is also, I thank you, it's a great opportunity for us to see these two most historical cities tomorrow. Prezident Janab Aliyelerim, bu mənim Uzbekistan'a birinci təşrifim və xuda haqlısı bu axırga təşrifim bulmaydı. Toşkin'a kiriş biz üçün, mən üçün və delegatsiyam üçün cüda xəm qızıqalli və cüda xəm xəyəcanli bir vəziyyət. Çünki bu bizni tarixən, balalikdən bilədik. Vaqiyalarımız bilən bağlıq, mənə 1965-ci ildə tarixi bir vaqiyə bölgən Pakistan Prezidenti və Hindistan Baş Vəzirini Taşkintdəki müzakərələri və bunu mən uzun balələqimdən esləyəmən, şu vaxtda mən osvarın edim. Bundan təşqərə Buxara və Səmərqəndkə barışını xəm biz cüriyyəkətdə iştiyak mən kütəyətkən edik, çünki Bizdən bu şəxərlərini, böyük şəxərlərini tarixidən xəbərdar bəlb gəlgəmiz. Today we had extensive talks and our talks were on the trade, connectivity, cultural, spiritual and political. So we had such long talks that by the end Mr. President, I was able to almost understand half of what you were saying in Uzbekistani. Because Urdu is so close to uh, your language, I'm sure that more meetings and I will be able to understand all of it. We won't need an interpreter. Prezident Janaba Aliyələrə, bugün biz cüdəyəm king qeytirilgən, king qəmravli müzakərələrlə abardik. Cüdə köp məvzularını mühakəmə qıldik. Savda torusda gəbləşdik, ozara bağlıqlik torusu da mədəni məsələlər, mənəvi məsələlər, siyasi məsələlərini gəbləşdik. Şündək uzaq münaqat qıldik ki, mən münaqatımızın yəkünü gəkilib, sizinə gəpəyəkən gəpəyəngizini özbək tələdəki sözləringizini deyərli yərməni çünüşlə başlarım. Mənim ki, əgər bunda münaqatda davam etirsək, keyinçəli mən 100 faiz çünəmən, çünki Urdu tülümüz Özbek tülüqə yaqın və bizgə tərcümanlı xacatı bulmaq olaydı. So first about the economic cooperation. Both of us are on the same path. Mr. President, you are talking about new Uzbekistan, new Uzbekistan, and we are talking about new Pakistan. The journey is the same. Uh, number one, we want to lift our people out of poverty. We want a bottoms-up approach rather than a trickle-down approach, which has been traditional. So we are on that journey where we are trying to uh, pull people out of poverty. And this is the model of uh, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the state of Medina, he is the first one who started a welfare state where he even when they did not have money, the concentration was that the, the, a state only prospers when, it, when everyone prospers, when it's an inclusive development. And China recently has proved that if you take the people out of poverty, the, the whole state uh, becomes rich. So we are on that same journey. I know you are concentrating on education and uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, lifting your people out uh, up from um, 
their current economic situation. Secondly, uh, the, we have now changed emphasis from geostrategic to geoeconomics. Our whole idea is that we have to create wealth. If we create wealth, then we can spend it on our lower strata of the society and lift them up. So um, this is extremely important for us that we now have strong trading relationship with Uzbekistan, which is the biggest country in, in um, uh, Central Asia. And we feel that uh, this will benefit both of us. It will be a win-win situation for both Pakistan and Uzbekistan, the stronger we improve our trading, trading ties. Demek ki Prezident Canaba Aliyeleri bizni muhakeme kılgen yönelişlerimizde avalan bor biz iqtisadi hankarlik doğrusu gəbləşdik və bu barada xan bizi fikirlerimiz cüda xan xamahəng boldu. Bizi aldıngə qoygan rejelerimiz xan cüda xan müştərək. Mənə siz yəngi Özbekistan quruş doğrusu da gəbri yapsız. Biz Naya Pakistan dasturunu aldıngə sur yapmız və bu xar ikələ dasturunu xan asasi negizidə bolgan məsədə bu axalıda kambagallarını kıskartırış, kambagallikten çıkarış insanlarını ve bu işine amelge aşırışta pastan yukarıdan paske emez pastan kuyu katlamlardan en kambagallarını halatıdan kip çıkan halde yukarıya karab barışını ricalaştırganımız. Bana şimdi yönelişti birinci bölü Peygamberimiz Muhammed sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem Medine şahrıda yolga koygenler ve o şey davırda hatta ki o şey ahalını kolu da pul bulmagen takdirde hem şu vaziyetten kip Kep çıkış yani kembagallarını halatına halından haber alıp kembagalını kaldır meslekte hareket kıyanlar ve bunu neticesinde ülken bir devletli kuruşge erişkenler. Hazır ki günümüzde ise bunge Xtay Yakkal namuna bop durupdu. Yani bunde yandaşuğunu hakikatta ham doğru yandaşu ekendigini ispatletken mahtı. Yani ahalını en kuyu katlamlarge etibar berip ularına kembagallikten çıkargenden keyin mana uşular bay bol onda albatta davlat ham boy bo'ladi. Mana shu yo'nalishda sizni ham fikrlaringizga biz juda ham qo'shilishamiz. Ta'limga e'tiborni juda katta ta'limga e'tibor bermoqdasiz va bu yo'nalish orqali aholini aynan holatini yaxshilash, iqtisodiy va ma'naviy holatini yaxshilashga urg'u bermoqdasiz. Va bu yerda asosiy g'oyalarimizdan bittasi bu geo siyosatdan geo iqtisodiyotga otuş ve bu cüda ham muhum ve bu yönelişte savdanı yolga koyuş bu torusu da ham cüda ham yakşı bir fikirlerge kelişip aldık ve albette bu yönelişlerden amelge aşırışta o zara manfaatli yandaşı borçluğu akatta ahamiyat gege bana şu yönelişlerde biz siz bulan mülakat kılıp kelişip aldık So Mr. President you can imagine uh, the amount of interest in Pakistan for, this, for the trading ties and the economic ties between our two countries. We have brought a delegation. It's one of the largest delegations ever of business community to come to go out of their country. We have brought 130 of our top business houses. And when I was leaving this morning on my mobile phone, I had messages from other business houses who also wanted to come today. So uh, this is the beginning of, inshallah, a very powerful relationship between the two countries. And we feel that we can mutually benefit each other. Uh, we are really interested. Uh, our business has signed a lot of MOUs, as you mentioned in your speech. Um, we are really interested in help in agriculture because of your uh, manufacturing agricultural implements. Uh, which uh, Pakistan is now trying to upgrade uh, its, its agriculture, which is basically an agricultural country. And secondly, cotton. We, can, uh, we, uh, we, we are going to seek help from you to improve our cotton seeds. Um, the, uh, the, the mutual benefit to most uh, the two countries will be Uzbekistan will have access uh, through Pakistan First of all, Pakistan with 220 million people is a huge market. And then on, onwards from our ports to Middle East and to Africa. And one day, inshallah, if uh, our relationship improves with India, you will also have access to India. Uh, and Pakistan then has access to 
Uzbekistan, Central Asia, and beyond. So it, it is a, a very exciting relationship between the two, of, uh, two countries. Janob prezident, mana O'zbekiston bilan savdoni rivojlantirish biz uchun juda ham katta ahamiyatga ega, chunki O'zbekiston Markaziy Osiyodagi eng yirik davlat va bizni tomonimizdan shu uchun ham bu o'rtadagi muloqotni, bog'liqlikni o'zaro savdoni rivojlantirish qay darajada qiziqarli va manfaatli va muhim ekanligini tasavvur qilishingiz mumkin. Mana hozir biz 130 kishidan iborat bo'lgan yirik bir delegat bilan keldik yani ki ular Pakistondagi tadbirkorlar vakillari juriyam yirik tadbirkorlik birlashmalarni vakillari va bugun ertalab bu yolga yolga chiqishimizdan oldin mana mobil telefonimga yana bir qator murojaatlar kelib tushdiki boshqa tadbirkorlik guruhlaridan ular ham O'zbekistonga kelib ular ham o'zaro aloqani o'rnatishga qiziqishlari borlik bor ekanliklarini aytishdi va xudo xohlasa albatta bu yo'nalishdagi ish larimiz o'zaro manfaatli hamkorligimiz davom etadi. O'zbekistondagi mana siz bir qator o'zaro anglashuv memorandumlari to'g'risida aytdingiz, o'zaro biz kelishib olgan nuqtalarimiz to'g'risida bundaylardan bittasi biz uchun albatta birinchi navbatda qishloq xo'jaligi. Qishloq xo'jaligi yo'nalishida bevosita qishloq xo'jaligi sanoati, ya'ni O'zbekiston qishloq xo'jaligi yo'nalishidagi ishlab chiqarayotgan jihozlari, dastgohlari, mashinalari bizga juda ham katta bizda qiziqish o'yg'otdi chunki Pokiston avvalan bor agrar iqtisodiyot asosidagi mamlakat hisoblanadi va ikkinchi masala bu yo'nalishda bizda paxta urug'chiligi masalasi bunga ham juda ham katta qiziqishimiz bor va mana shu bizga juda ham foydali bo'ladi deb ishonchimiz komil. Endi o'z navbatida O'zbekistonni Pokistondan oladigan manfaatli bir natijalarga to'xtaladigan bo'lsak, avvalan bor Pokiston 220 million aholiga ega bo'lgan yirik bir bozor desak bo'ladi O'zbekiston mahsulotlari uchun, xizmatlari uchun. Bundan tashqari O'zbekiston Pokiston orqali, Pokiston dengiz portlari orqali yaqin Sharq va Afrika mamlakatlari bilan ulanish, ularga ham o'z mahsulotlarini yetkazish imkoniyatiga ega bo'ladi va xudo xohlasa, o'rtadagi munosabatlarimiz tiklanadigan bo'lsa, Hindiston bozoriga ham kirib kelishga bu yo'l ochadi deb ishonamiz. Va shuning uchun ham Pokiston esa o'z navbatida O'zbekiston orqali O'zbekiston bozori va shu bilan birgalikda Markaziy Osiyodagi boshqa mamlakatlar bozoriga kirib kelish imkoniyatiga ega bo'ladi va bu bilan to'xtalib qolmasdan albatta Markaziy Osiyoda atrofidagi mamlakatlarga ham bog'lanish imkoniyatiga ega bo'ladi. And so to uh, connect the two countries need to improve number one our uh, air connectivity and so for that we have decided that we will try and increase the frequency of flights between the two countries secondly through land we have uh, uh, experimented that a truck has left uh, pakistan torham border and has arrived in two days to uh, to uzbekistan so land connectivity but most of all and I know it is your uh, brainchild and uh, your passion, the railway from mazar sharif from Uzbekistan, mazar sharif to Peshawar, uh, which um, an idea which we all feel in Pakistan extremely excited about. We think that this, this really would change everything if uh, we can have this uh, railway line. It, again, it, it will uh, improve connectivity between the two countries and the transportation of goods. Uh, and so that, uh, I assure you that uh, President Shokat, I will be pursuing it, my government will be pursuing it, and rest assured that we will uh, try and push this, uh, this, this extremely exciting project uh, as much as we can. Va o'zaro bog'liqlik to'g'risida gapirar ekanmiz, bu yerda albatta ikkita yo'nalish juda ham muhim. Birinchisi bu havo orqali aloqalarni o'rnatish va bu yo'nalishda mana siz bilan janob olilar biz kelishib oldik. Birinchi qiladigan ishimiz o'zaro yo'lovchilarni qatnov havo orqali qatnovlarini demak raqamini oshirish va shundan keyingi yo'nalishimiz havodagi kargo yuklar tashishni ham yo'lga qo'ygach, keyingi yo'nalish bu albatta 
sifatida avtotransport, ya'ni yer usti transporti orqali o'zaro aloqalarni, iqtisodiy aloqalarni rivojlantirish. Mana siz aytib o'tganingizdek, Pokiston chegarasidan O'zbekiston hududiga qadar bir sinov tajriba sifatida avtotransport yo'lga chiqqan va 2 kun ichida O'zbekistonga kirib kelishga muvaffaq bo'lgan va bu ham bu yo'nalishda katta salohiyat mavjud ekanligini bildiradi va keyingi masala albatta bu sizni o'zingizning g'oyangiz mahsuli bo'lgan juda ham katta loyiha O'zbekiston bilan Mozori Sharif Qobul orqali Pokistonning Peshavar shahrini bog'lovchi temir yo'l loyihasi. Mana bu loyihani siz juda ham ilg'or tartibda targ'ib qilib kelyapsiz va biz Pokistonda sizning fikrlaringizni o'rganib bunga ishondik va hozirgi kunda bu g'oyani naqadar to'g'ri ekanligini anglab, katta ishtiyoq bilan uni amalga oshirishni kutib qolmoqdamiz. Chunki bu mamlakatlarimiz o'rtasidagi tovarlarni transportiga, ularni yetkazib berishga juda ham katta xizmat qiladi va shu yo'nalishda albatta janobi oliylari men sizga ishontirib aytamanki shaxsan o'zim va meni hukumatim mana shu g'oyani ortida turamiz va buni amal albatta amalga oshirishga oshirishda sizga ko'makchi bo'lamiz. And we discussed the political situation in Afghanistan in details. Uh, we are both concerned as neighbors of Afghanistan that people of Afghanistan have suffered for the last 40 years. And as neighbors, we feel there are brothers, that there, there should be peace there, there should be a peaceful political settlement there. So we discussed that in details. Uh, and we also resolved that the neighbors, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Iran, Pakistan, and even Turkey, we will try and help facilitate uh, a peace process in Afghanistan. And for that, we, will, we hope that our foreign ministers will first meet, and then we will go on and try to ha have a summit so that we can stop uh, what looks like a civil war. Bay keyingi masalamiz biz har tomonlama muhokama qilgan masalalarimiz bu Afg'onistondagi siyosiy holat bo'ldi. Buni har tomonlama siz bilan muhokama qildik. Albatta, har ikkala mamlakat Afg'oniston bilan qo'shdi mamlakatlar hisoblanamiz. Shuning uchun ham bu mavzu biz uchun juda ham tashvishli, katta ahamiyatga ega bo'lgan mavzu. Qolaversa, Afg'on xalqi mana 40 yildirki, mana shu notinchlikdan, jangu jadallardan aziyat chekib kelyapti va bu Afg'on xalqi biz uchun birodar xalq hisoblanadi. Shuning uchun ham sizning ham bizning ham fikrlarimiz mushtarak bo'ldiki, Afg'onistonda bizga tinchlikni o'rnatishni biz siyosiy murosa orqali yo'lga qo'yishga kirishimiz lozim va bunga bu yagona yechim bo'lishi lozim. Va bu yo'nalishda O'zbekiston, Tojikiston, Eron, Pokiston va hattoki Turkiya bilan birgalikda fikr almashib, mana shu ishga birgalikda kirishish to'g'risida kelishib oldik. Birinchi qadam sifatida bizni tashqi ishlar vazirlarimiz bu yo'nalishda muhokamalarni, muloqotlarni yo'lga qo'ysalar, keyinchalik davlat rahbarlari darajasida sammit o'tkazish fikri ham muhokama qilindi. And uh, finally Mr. President about the cultural aspect. Uh, this is extremely exciting that we have decided now to make a film on the first of the great Mughals, Zahiruddin Babur. Uh, his dynasty ruled India for 300 years. And during that time, India was considered one of the richest places in the world. 24 to 25% of the world GDP was from India. So it was uh, a, a, a superpower of its time under the dynasty of Babur. So I think people, the young people in Uzbekistan and in Pakistan must know this connection. This connection stayed for hundreds of years between, uh, between this part of the world and, and our part of the world. And we feel that this film would, and similar films, not just this film, they will connect the, the, the people of uh, the, two, the, the two regions together. And, and then we can think of uh, films on Iqbal, on uh, Mirza Ghalib. I never realized that Mirza Ghalib was popular here. Um,
And then uh, Imam Bukhari and, uh, you know, who we are all connected with in the, in the subcontinent. So we hope that this will be the beginning of a strong cultural exchange between the two countries. و نهایت سنجی موضوع بو مدنی علاقه‌لر موضوع سبولد. بیان نشده هم بعضی چون جدا هم قزقالی و خیجانلی بگن بر موضوع رو محاکمه کردیک. او هم بولد سه بیک اجدادین اجداد ما زخرد محمد بابور. یعنی بطور دنیا ده بیک مغولر امپیریاسی اساسی دب سانالوچه زخرد محمد بابور تورسی ده بر فیلم یارتش بر یالکته شونه فیلم نی یارتش غایه سبولد. البته زخرد محمد بابور امپیریاسی هندستان ده 300 سال دوام ده حکم سرگن و اش حکم رالیک دوره ده هندستان اقتصادیات نشود درجه ده کوترگن کی جهان یالپ یچ یالپ یچ که محصولات نی یکی مبیش فایزه اش دوره ده هندستان نو ولش که تور کردن، جدیم جریق، قدرتی بر دولتی یارت کن و البته بو تاریخ تورسیده پاکستانی یاشلر، ازبکستانی یاشلر خبردار بروش لری کریک. بذو ارتباط ما دیگه بو ریشتلردن، اولار خبردار بروش لیک لری کریک و شنی چون خم بو فیلم نه و نه فقط بو کلیجکته شنی گوش کن، باشکه فیلم لرن خم یارتش بذگه جدی خم معقول بر غایه بوده و بونگه جدیم کت قزقش بلدر مختار ما خازر کلیجکته محمد اقبال تورسی ده مرزا غالب تورسی ده حتی که بس مرزا غالب نه ازبکستان ده بلش لردن هم اون چالی خبر مزیوگه ده و اوندن که ایمان بخاری تورسی ده البته شوندی فیلم لردن شوندی مدنی ارتباط دگی علاقه لردن علمشون لردن یولگ خویاریم بوسیک بو البته خر ایکه لام مملکت که جد هم کت نافکیر درد. And inshallah as a as a countries get together get closer together. Cultural exchanges uh, get stronger. Then, Mr. President, I will introduce cricket to the people of uh, Uzbekistan. Albatta, Khuda Hafsa, President Janab Ali Lara, agar mamlakatlarimiz yanayam berberiga yaqin lassa, ortada in manak madani alaqalarimiz yanayam kuchaysa, Khuda Hafsa Uzbekistan halqiga cricket oyna oyna nham abkiyalib tanishtiraman. Thank you. Rahmat. من اولی من اول امبار من سعی مانونیت لعنتی تمام کی من اشی کیل دنبرن اوزبکستان ده برنش مدت کریکت فدراسیا سرای خاطر که آلب یکی میگنن که بیاش لرمس کریکت اول نیابد من من اشو سز بو سخاب بوی چه جدی که تما فقط لرگه ایرش کنیم از ده این آباد که آلب بس بو سخانیم جدی که تر واجد انتری اپس بو سخا دیا من اولی من برگلیکت خامکار لیده عملگا well, that was the press conference of Uzbek President Mr. Shafkat Mirzi Yoyev, along with Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan. And uh, the Uzbek President said Pakistan is a very important regional country and we want to promote ties in multiple fields. And they also signed bilateral agreements, strategic partnership and opening of new avenues for the future. Just to mention, MOUs worth $453 million have been signed today. And uh, just from Pakistan, 130 representatives of the leading companies and uh, business houses from Pakistan attended the pakistan Uzbek business forum today and uh, on the presser imran khan prime minister of pakistan said we want to thank you for the generous hospitality and he also said this is my first visit to uzbekistan and it is not going to be the last one this is all we have for you now we'll keep you updated with all the latest keep watching in this news